Hi, it's Matt here, and I'm just following up from a question from Dell in the forums, and Dell's just not 100% on how his eBay template is going to work in Magento, and this is going to be a very, very quick introduction to creating a product in Magento, and an introduction into keywords, and making an eBay template ready for listing onto eBay. So just to explain what we're going to cover in this video, we're going to go and borrow an item from Amazon, some Bright Starts activity balls, and we're going to add that into Magento. We'll then go and see it on the website, and we're then going to make an eBay template, and we're going to add some keywords in there, and then we're going to view the item in the template and see it could, how it could possibly look. So let's dive in. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to take this tab and I'm going to pop it on a separate screen, just so it's uh, easy uh, for me to copy and paste information across. Now I've come straight into the Magento admin panel, and I am skipping quite a lot here, so it's just to give you the, the crux of what's going on. So in the top right hand corner, I'm going to click on add a product, and I'm going to choose leave it on default and simple products and click continue. Okay, now we've got some fields which we need to enter, and I'm literally just going to copy and paste across from the, um, from the right hand side, and I'm just going to call this one SKU1, and I'm going to copy some bullet points across from Amazon, like so. And you don't have to have these five bullet points on here, but there is actually a very good reason why you would want these five bullet points, and we'll like, again we'll explain them, uh, explain why, and show you why properly uh, in the main training guides. So there's our bullet points which have been added. I'm also going to borrow a description from Amazon. I'm going to set the product to be enabled. I'm going to set the weight to zero and then there's a few other things which we need to set so this item is currently £4.66 on Amazon £4.66 uh, I'm just going to set that to none uh, I'm also going to go and add some images as well to this product which I just so happen to have ready and I'm going to choose upload files like so and I want to choose those options there and again I am skipping over quite a bit here for you as well um, and I'm going to give this item 10 in stock and I'm also going to mark it as in stock as well and that's kind of like the basics of setting up a product in Magento. I'm going to press save and continue edit and if, if I've missed out on anything then Magento would tell me that I've missed out a required field like the description for example or if I made the bullets required uh, then it would give me a warning and highlight that field back to me. So that's the basics which have been set in there. Now let's go and have a quick look to see what this item would look on the website. Um, or, and again this is just a standard theme for Magento and let's have a look to see what she looks like and again that has to be real so give me a moment on our re-index <laughs> okay well you missed me there was re-indexing Re really all I needed to tick was the main website tab and again you won't have that in your system we've just been playing with this and again that's where you can see like WordPress in the top menu bar you wouldn't normally have that in your system so there's our item and we can see we've got the title there we've got a couple of different images uh, available to us there's a nice little zoom feature which is built in as well uh, we've got a description we've got our bullet point points which will come out there and also crucially our price. Now when it comes to eBay is that we've been and entered the key information into Magento and we can use that information not only on our own website if you want to okay the, the Magento website is completely optional uh, what we're after with Magento is the administration panel and it's hook up to uh, eBay specifically and the other marketplaces so let's go and have a look and see what a template could look like and we'll go and build it in M2E Pro so what I've been and done is prepare a template template already for us okay it's a very basic template we've got a h1 tag at the top and that's where we're going to put our product name so I'm just going to put this to the side here so that's where we're going to put the name field so we're going to pop a keyword in there and for each item which we list it's that name is going to be it's, it's a variable and it will change depending upon the whatever you've entered in your name field for the product and then I've got a little paragraph tag and images and it just in there I'm going to pop in a uh, gallery 
uh, keyword as well so we can make a little cool little gallery so when the customers click on the different images then they'll they'll change uh, a little spacer uh, a, some key features and that's there's to the, the if you if you're not very um, HTML literate then, then these are the tags to make bullet points in your listing uh, then we're gonna have a description and I've left a little paragraph tag there and we're gonna put the keyword in there for the description and I've left a, a couple of other little sections just to add some standard text which you would normally have on your uh, eBay listing so with that in mind let's nip across to uh, sell on eBay and then go to configuration and the tab which we want is the policies tab and I'm gonna go into the description tab and down here I'm going to click on that link there and again we will explain this to you um, in more detail later on okay in, in the main video guys but for now um, just follow along it's just mainly proof of concept so let's get rid of all those keywords in there and let's say I want bullet one and there's its internal code now I know what the other bullet ones are so what the keywords are so I'm just going to quickly go in here and populate these in And I've been populated those in now and we do need our title and that was going to be from our product and we can scroll down in our list and what we're after is name which is that field there and I've just inadvertent, inadvertently spotted the, M the M2E Pro team have been very busy and this is the first time I've been and seen this and these are what <laughs> looks like every single attribute which I asked for in the list in their, on their feedback forums so actually we want that one there okay so I'm going to choose title and click insert like so so that's the title keyword which we want there uh, now we also want uh, a, an image gallery so I'm going to choose an image gallery and I want product images and I'm going to change the width to 500 like so and click insert and I'm gonna, now going to grab that keyword and that will make us a funky little image gallery oh we also needed the product description as well so in this list if I just press D on my keyboard we'll grab the description and find the right field so I've been and put the template together and I'm going to copy and paste that in there this is a very straightforward template um, M2E Pro and eBay support very uh, advanced features for HTML and CSS so this is just for the point of demonstration so let's go have a quick look to see what our listing or uh, what our eBay description could look like when we actually go and list this item onto eBay and uh, M2E Pro has got a really handy little feature uh, and it's called preview and I've been to click that button and I know the product ID of the item which I'd like to see and I'll now click on view and we can now see that there's our title which is, which has come through so if I jump back to the HTML side uh, of the actual template is we've got the h1 tag and then we've got name which is the keyword and that's the idea of the products and just to prove that these details are changing I'm going to change that to five and hit view and there's the banana grams item which we were playing with well we saw a few moments ago so let's just change that back to number six and we can see that we've got a image gallery which is going on in there and our images text and then we've got our bullet points as well we've got our description and our text below so Dell I hope that helps you very much and again do let us know your feedback in the forums. Thank you. Bye.